If you import data into Excel and there are dates, sometimes those won't format correctly. In this video, you'll see a quick way to fix that problem. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this small table, there are dates in column B. If I select these and go to the ribbon and choose short date, nothing happens. The reason for that usually is that these are text values and not real dates. If I look in the formula bar, I can see an apostrophe at the start of the date. And if I look down in the status bar, it's showing a count, but no sum and no numerical count. So I have to fix these. And the quickest way to do that is to use the text to columns feature. On the ribbon, go to the Data tab, and in Data Tools, click Text to Columns. This is the Convert Text to Column Wizard. Step one, we want to use Delimited because there's a character that will separate these values for us. I'll go to Next. We have a space between the dates and the times. So I'm using that. We can see Lines now and Next. In step three, we can make decisions about each of the columns. For the date column, I'm going to make it a date and then select the format that the date is currently in here. So this is day, month, year. I'll select DMY from this list. The next column I don't need, the time, so I'll say do not import. And for this third column, I'm also going to say do not import. And we want the destination to be the same cell where it is now. I'll click Finish. And now on the worksheet, these look like dates. They've moved to the right of the cell. And if we look down in the status bar, it shows a count and a sum. So we know these are being recognized as real dates. We can also go to the Home tab and in the Format dropdown, choose a different date style and the format changes just as we expect it to. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.